Hey guys, Ben, Diesel Power Products here. Today we are talking about returning your cores. Uh, there are lots of items that we sell on our website that have a core charge on there. We're gonna talk about what cores are, how to return them, and the whole process behind that. So let's get into the details. Some people are not even sure what a core is. A lot of manufacturers are remanufacturing their parts, like a transmission or a steering box. So they wanna get your old one back because they're actually going to be modifying it and putting brand new parts in there to sell to the next customer. They wanna get those parts back because cases and other parts they just aren't made anymore. So as long as those cases are in good shape, they're going to reuse them and they can make more products to sell, therefore keeping the cost down for you but they want to make sure you get their old ones back, so they attach a core charge to it to make sure you send it back. Returning your core. So let's talk about time frame. Once you receive your new part, that starts the clock. You have three weeks to send your core back in. We understand life happens. If it takes longer than three weeks, give us a call, keep us in the loop, and we can adjust the timeline as need be. If it's been over six months, a lot of times we will need, we will need the core, your credit card number to issue the credit back. If it's been even longer than that, you may not receive a core credit back at all or potentially maybe a partial core credit. So you're ready to send your core back. You need to make sure that you have your proper core return information. This is imperative. This is very important. You're going to hear me say this a lot during this video. You need to make sure you have your correct core information. If you send your core back blindly, it may not be going to the right address and it may not have the right core ID number on that, which means you may not get your core charge back. And if you send it to the wrong address, you're going to get charged for not only the, going to the wrong address, but get charged for getting to the right address. So make sure you give us a call and get your correct core return information. Many times it's actually in the box itself. So when you open that box, you may see a neon sheet that says core return information. Make sure you save that. And that'll give you all the info you need about how and where to send your core back. How to get your core information. As we talked about earlier, your core information is very important. It's going to be an address and an ID number. If you don't have this already, the best thing you can do is shoot us a call or send an email to cores at dieselpowerproducts.com. So make sure that you do this before you head to UPS, FedEx, or USPS. If you're standing in line and shoot us a call, there's a good chance we might not be able to get you that information immediately. Now that you've gone through the process to get your core return information, which is your core return ID and the shipping address, you're going to want to make sure and put that on the box as clearly as you can. Uh, the RMA information needs to be nice, big, and bold, and the address needs to be exact to what the core returns department sends you. Most items on our website do not include a prepaid ship enable, which means you're going to be, you are going to basically be paying the cost of sending it back. So you want to make sure that it goes to the right place at the right time. Uh, after you drop it off, feel free to ship it as fast or as slow as you like. That's up to you. You're paying for it. Once you do send it out, though, one of the best things you can do is send your tracking number with your order number to cores at dieselpowerproducts.com. That will make sure that we can track it as well as you can and try and get you your core return uh, credit faster. Typically, once it's received by the manufacturer, that starts the two-week wait time. Items that are sent to you, uh, actually you are, you are going to want to make sure that you insure this package. A lot of these core returns going back, it may be a couple hundred bucks, some of them are $2,000 in a box. So make sure you insure it because if that goes somewhere else, UPS loses it, you're going to want to make sure that you get that taken care of because that's between you and UPS. Items that are shipped to you typically will come in a package good enough for you to send the core back. A lot of times they'll be double box, include a bag, maybe plugs for any ports in there. Uh, if you do not, for some reason, have a box, make sure that you can rebox it to the original standard or even better to make sure it doesn't get even further damaged on the way back. As we talk about later, it could result in a partial core return. Processing and wait times. Once you send that tracking number to cores at dieselpowerproducts.com, we can all track it and make sure that it arrives on time. Once it shows that it's been delivered to the manufacturer, that starts the two-week wait time. Typically, it's about two weeks. Sometimes it takes a little bit longer, but those situations are a little bit few and far and in between, and we try and get them done as fast as possible. Issuing a core credit. Once the funds are released on our end, it's typically about two or three business days for them to post to your account. If it's been over six months, like I mentioned before, we are going to need your credit card number again to issue you a refund. Partial refunds. If you send back a court and it is completely destroyed, you may receive a partial refund or no refund at all. An example of this, companies like Redhead actually reused the case of the steering gear box and machine it out to accept a larger, higher quality bearing. If they get the case back and they can't use it, 
then that kind of negates the whole purpose of you sending it back and they're going to issue either a partial or no refund. If you have questions on this and you receive a partial refund, on the bottom of the, of the receipt you should see notes in there about why and how you received a partial refund. Sending your transmission core back. The best thing you can do when it's time to send your transmission core back is shoot us a call or email. A lot of times the shipping cost to send your transmission back may actually be included in the original cost of the transmission. Sometimes it's not. So the best thing you can do to figure that all out is shoot us a call or send an email. One thing we want to make sure people understand is we are on or we are in Pacific Standard Time, which means we're three hours behind you guys on the East Coast. If you shoot us a call at 9 a.m. your time, we're just walking in the door at 6 o'clock. So make sure you give us a little bit of time to get back to you with information and we'll get it to you as fast as possible. Uh, next thing in there, when you call in and you get Jessica's voicemail, and a lot of times she's helping someone else in their line, listen to the whole voicemail greeting. I know it's kind of long, but she answers a lot of frequently asked questions, in which case you may not even need to actually speak with her. She'll actually answer it in her voicemail greeting for you. Next thing, if you have two items on your order and two different core charges, you may need two different RMAs and two different addresses. So just make sure you don't assume that all the core charges are going back to the same warehouse. Lastly, if you have any questions on anything we talked about here, shoot us a call. We're on the phones 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Pacific time, and we're happy to help. As always, you can shoot us an email. Uh, you can uh, see us at decentpopproducts.com, phone number 888-993-4373. Again, 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Pacific time. We're here to help you out. If you have any questions, let us know. Yeah.